my name is uh, Kevin Walsh. I'm the executive director of the Yankee Air Museum. We're here today at Willowron Airport in uh, Bay, uh, Bay 8 of uh, Hangar 1, uh, home to the flyable airplanes of the Yankee Air Museum. Willow Run was started in the offices of Edsel Ford. Was well, it, yeah, it was. It was the it really the Ford family uh, mm -hmm. putting together, um, you know, the Willow Run bomber plant back in the early 40s, and the uh, the opportunity, uh, you know, to join the war effort and uh, produce over 8,000 B-24 Liberator bombers right here at Willow Run. Um, to, so they were to, limited, to, limited to 24s, that's all they... Yeah, that's out. all they, they... Yeah, the factory was designed for B-24s. It was actually designed for other bombers in the future, mm -hmm. um, but uh, all that was produced here were B-24s, and they were produced at an incredible rate of a bomber an hour, which wow. said no one could ever have, have done that. Well, the Ford said, yeah, we can do that. Well, and that's over two-thirds of the total production of 24s for the whole wars. I remember it's like 12,800, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There was only, there's only six 17s right now that, that are currently are fly, that are they're actually flying rides. So you can't get a ride in a B-17, uh, you know, as easy as you can go get a ride in, in something else. Right, um, right. You know, and then there's only about nine flyable um, in the in the, the world, world so, yeah. So it's very very rare. Um, it is only because of the dedication and the hard work of all our volunteers mm -hmm. um, that maintain uh, you know these airplanes yeah. and keep them going. It's it's uh, it's unbelievable the time and energy they put in. The 17s in post war they had a design that lent themselves to something a little bit more practical than the B-24s. The B-24s were designed to drop bombs. Right. That's that's what their design was. And they didn't have much applicable usage after the war. Um, the 17, by its very nature and the, the way the aircraft was put together, it did have some practical uses in firefighting and transport and uh, Coast Guard patrol, etc. So um, th that's why a few more 17s exist in the world than B-24s. state area yeah. how when can they come and fly in the b-17 you know, how often we we actually start flying uh if the beginning of may and fly all the way through to october um so as long as the weather is is fairly decent uh you know the, through those months um we're flying all the time we fly out of willow run and then we also fly at all our stops so if you go on yankeeairmuseum.org and look at our schedule uh, for this weekend we'll be in Reading, pennsylvania you're able to book a ride in Reading, pennsylvania if you're in the area you're going to that air show so um we don't just fly here but right. we fly at all our, our locations point that we point. go to yeah. exactly but and, and again this experience and you'll you'll be able to report on it really well when you come back. Uh, this is worth traveling to see. This is worth traveling to experience. Um, there are not many experiences for this price point that you are ever going to have that is this visceral, this exciting, um, and memorable. Um, and that's, that's one of the key things about these flight experiences and visiting the museum is everything about it is, is memorable. Um, and, the, the, and as soon as that first engine starts, you'll know what I mean. Oh, I do. <laughs> There's no sweeter sound on planet Earth than a radial engine. Yeah. Yeah. Absol absolutely. I mean, we, we live to hear the noise. And, and the other thing is there's hardly any museums, aviation museums around in this region that regularly fly these type of airplanes. That, so that's another thing, and it's a reason to travel and to have people come into southeast Michigan, come to Washtenaw County, the Ann Arbor area, and, 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 and experience this because you can't, you can't go anywhere else to get a B-17 yeah. ride in this part of the nation. It's one of those memories that stays with you for the rest yep. of your life. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, yep. Some total departs greater than the whole. <laughs> yeah.